Hello guys, so in this video we'll be discussing what we have to do in week number 11. So in the past 10 weeks we have completed majority, in fact 80% of the CAD syllabus and the important topics as well. Now in the coming these uh, couple of weeks we have to focus on those topics which are not that important but still we have to do it as we don't want to take any chance. So we'll be completing the, uh, uh, the entire syllabus. So in week number 11 you have to focus on number system. So number system will be in two parts. Part one is a compulsory thing which you have to do. Part two is an optional. In fact, if you find it very difficult to comprehend then you can leave it. Otherwise just stick to part one. So in part one again the timing same uh, and the key focus areas are this. You have to focus on properties of number within properties of number. You have to focus primarily on say prime numbers, right? You have to focus on perfect squares and some other properties, right? So everything is given in the uh, theory videos in detail. And then next very important thing is divisibility rule. You have to follow divisibility rule right from say 1 to uh, 13, right? The numbers which are from 1 to 13, you have to know the rules for this. Uh, above than 13 is not required, but yes, the question may appear. For example, B, you may get a question wherein you have to find the or we have to apply the rule for divisibility of 99. But we know that 99 is nothing but what? 9 into 11. So we know the divisibility rule of 9 and we know the divisibility rule of 11. So that will do, right? So this is the basic thing from divisibility rule. Apart from that, you have to do you have to do divisibility rule of any number which are in the form of 10 to the power n plus minus 1, right? Uh, the n could be any any uh, natural number. For example, you have to find the divisibility rule for 1001, right? Divisibility rule for 101, right? Or divisibility rule for 1999. So these are the rules which have already been given in the theory books. So 1 to 13 and the numbers which are in this particular format, these are the only numbers which you have to focus. Then you have to focus on the remainders and within remainder you have to just stick to the basic, the very, uh, very, very elementary way of finding the remainders when some numbers is divided. The topic of remainder is full with lots of theorems or high-end theorems I would say but you don't need to go through it. Yes, you should go through the theory videos on the same. I have provided everything but in case if you find it difficult to comprehend, you can safely leave it. But yes, the basic part should be done. And then the most important thing is the factors HCF and LCM. Uh, so everything right regarding the finding the number of factors, finding the product of all the factors and questions related to HCF and LCM need to be done. So this thing should be done within 20 or 25 hours depending, up, depending upon how much already you are comfortable with numbers. Now let me show you from the course where you will be finding it. Within that now you have to go to the cat quant number system. So you can see that the second folder is for cat quant number system. And here you have to do properties of numbers as you can see that all the properties uh, introduction to number, understanding prime number. There are different types of questions based on prime numbers and how to uh, what should be our approach so all the approaches are given then about perfect square again the approaches for perfect squares are given and then there are practice problems on uh, on properties of numbers so that you have to do and then you can move to the divisibility rules then factorization then remainders so within remainder as i said that you just need to do the first uh, i would say till this portion right till format theorem i would say you can safely ignore all other types of questions and each of these sub uh, subtopics uh, and for each of these subtopics I have already provided the practice problems. So you have to just go through this practice problem. Try to do 50% of the practice problems. You don't have to give too much of time in each of these subtopics. The prime objective would be to go through all these topics and have some and practice some of the questions on the same. With this the week number 11 should end. In the next video I will tell you what we have to do in week number 12.